Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mary God Bold. David Mary God Bold. Uh, now we are at question four. Now question four, question four. In this video, uh, I just post the uh, uh, I just post answers for question four and question five, five A and five B. Question four, it's a serial in parallel out. It's also a type of shift register. So in this question, what they say, the binary number one one zero one one zero zero one is serial shifted left significant bit first into a eight bit serial in parallel out shift register that has an initial content of this one one zero zero one one zero zero, and then they say give the Q output. They say give the Q output uh, at the third clock number clock number three clock uh, number five and clock number seven guys in this question uh the small trick in this side you must be carefully this side where we say less significant bit when they say less significant bit which means the first data that they put inside the shift register was this one and then the two zeros and then one one and then zeros and then one one so guys we start from less significant bit to more significant bit so guys that was that in this question this was the trick okay let's go i'm going to show you how to solve this question so now this is this question like i have, I have this shortcut table which is this one that my shortcut table and then the these are the data that they give me that they say they shifted left significant bit this was this one so you can see this is less significant bit i started for data in this data those data this one I just shift them on left significant bit which means I started from one zero zero one one so this is one zero zero one one zero one one you can see I just put my data this side on less significant bit and this data here on top on right right this right also those data come from this one from this one then the, the initial content this is the initial content that has here they didn't say anything about uh significant bit so you can see that I write them on the normal way, just the way in the normal order that they give it to me, and I write everything <coughs> down. You can see, and then after that, what happened, guys? Very easy. I start shifting, 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 and then the data in the role of the data in just to close this part, the plot, because when you're going to shift, this row will be empty this side will be empty so the data in the role of data in is just to fold this part so you can take at the beginning you can take the same same data in you, you post them inside or you write them again this side and then start shifting you can see guys very easy and the question they say the question they say give uh the output at now they, they say give output in terms of of clocks so in term of clocks guys you won't take output like this because in vertical like this you can take vertically because they say in term of clocks so clocks you must take horizontally so the third clock third clock and a clock number three these are the data you check that and then you write them horizontally like this number five also horizontal number seven same thing like the question that they said because the question they said three five seven so three five seven so the output the answer of everything i just write everything down here this is the answer guys you can see guys very easy okay, guys you can see that it's very easy let's move now to question number three uh, sorry question number five a question number five a they just says sketch a three bit up and down synchronized counter this sketch is inside your book you can go through your book or you can even copy here online you can just press pause and then copy it's very easy so this is a sketch of three bit they say three bit we have three flip flops that's why we have three flip flops we have uh, four and gate two or gate one one not gate and you can see this is a sketch of three bit a synchronized sorry synchronized counter so synchronized because you can see the clocks the clocks are connected together so now this question you can see it's very easy you can just press pause and then you copy the sketch and then yeah 
and then let's go now to question number 5b question number 5b is this one why did they say question number 5b they say sketch a 4-bit asynchronous counter which is a some sketch this one but you add another flip flop because the 4-bit and then they say determine the sequence of timing diagram up and down clock what and then they say sketch the timing diagram so and then they say the counter initially it's zero and is positive edge trigger so the question is that they say what sketch first the uh, four bit counter after that you show how and then after that you show the count regarding that the clock that they give to you this clock and the up and down waveform and then show the counter let me show you what how it's very easy guys you come there this is a four bit asynchronous synchronized counter guys can see you can just press pause again and then you copy um, now you can see it's very simple it's like the other one it's like this one I just add another flip-flop one two three four because it's a four bit uh, four bit synchronized counter so now let's see the timing diagram uh, the timing diagram sorry the timing diagram which is this one but how so they say initially this thing was zero so that's why right here initial the first thing it says four clocks four clocks out four clocks you can see here guys i can count one two three this clock there's four here and then you can see one it's up zero it's for down one up zero it's for down if i check for up i have one two three five clocks for down i have one two three four so i have one two three four four up the first up side and then one two three four five clock for the first down part and then for the second one i have one two three up and then one two down so what happened you go there what did i do i come this side i wrote the four clock because i see that clock one and clock two clock three and clock four the up so that were right up 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 clock five four five six seven eight nine it's down i wrote down 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 and then 10 11 12 it's up 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 and then 13 14 it's down 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 so they say it's initially low that's why i say initially low around zero zero everywhere this is initially low and then what happened here now they say we must count so first clock we hear first clock first clock is what up so we start counting because from this is the most significant bit this is the less thing guys is different with the shift and the counter because here we're counting that's why we start with q3 q2 q1 and q0 in the shift we start with q0 and then go to q3 so guys we are counting those so which means here it's going to be my eight regarding the the way we count in binary here it's going to be my four my two and my one so they say clock one up so we count up zero we up one up again two up again three up again four and then down down three down two down one down zero but they say again down so we if i'm zero because the four bit four bit we come from zero to 15 so i'm at zero if i go back again it's going to be 15 again so 15 one one everywhere and then we're going to be up zero i go back to zero and then one and then two and then sorry and then one two and then they say down again one and then zero so you can see guys it's very easy and then what's happened here we just copy these data this one let's say for this one for q1 everything is for q1 0 1 1 i come in a timing a, a, a timing diagram i copy just 0 1 1 z, uh, 1 z, 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 everywhere for q2 same thing uh, for q uh, sorry for q1 sorry that one for was for q0 for q1 it was for q1 0 0 like here 0 0 and then we have 1 0 0 and then we have 1 1 0 uh, 0 1 1 0 0 1 uh, 0 0 1 0 0 so that's what you're going to do guys you take this data and then you just follow here so this one's the first clock you copy down and down 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 you can see guys how this thing is very simple i'm going to leave it for a bit like uh take a few minutes on each sketches so that you can press pause like here you can press pause and then start copying question four 
and here also you can press pause you copy question 5a and here also you can press pause and then copy question 5b the first part the sketch and here also you can press pause and then copy the the table but actually what they want is the last one this part is what actually they want you to do but this i just show you the table for you to know how to get this thing you can press pause and then copy so guys thank you for <coughs> following for watching my video for coming on uh, coming on my channel uh, guys thank you thank you thank you don't forget to subscribe and like my channel if you guys so that each and every time when i post videos you can yeah you can know you can get a notification that a uh, new video i just put like a new video is online now and then you can go thank you guys please 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 please, please. this subject is very nice and very easy uh not really easy but if you don't practice i know <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys understand this thing very simple thank you thank you thank you and bye